what's up fellow pilots um, I'm just gonna go over the prop balancing for the Corsair now uh, this is the airfield 1430 millimeter uh, big scale large scale giant scale whatever you want to call it um, by nitro planes um, great awesome plane retracts flawless on mine I'm not sure why other people are having problems I still haven't figured that out but uh, one thing I did notice is that the prop is just off balance I mean bad um, and what do you expect, you know, when it comes with, uh, let me get this focus for you, when it comes with, you know, these are the little plastic pieces, you know, and the prop blades fit into there, fit into a notch, um, after fitting into a notch, screw goes through, the pieces go together, holds the prop on. Well, I found that, just to do a quick test, what I did was I got some, this is just 180 grit, guys, uh, sandpaper, so I got some 180 grit, and I just did a couple slides back and forth, in each direction okay then I looked at the bottom now this has been sanded on uh, normally this comes just chromed out um, but let me show you here guys now my prop was way off I had two blades that were perfect in sync and two blades that were perfect in sync but not with each other so what I did was when I sanded on this I noticed that on a very flat surface and a flat sand I was still getting if you can see it right over here by my pinky on the inside there's still chrome there on that plastic after sanding it quite a few times Okay, so on a flat surface sanding it like that, when I still see that chrome paint on there, that means that I'm not getting a flush, flat surface. Okay, so I'm, I'm still working on this one, sanding this one down here. Um, same thing goes on the other part. Okay, I worked this one, I sanded it through pretty good. Um, this one I'm almost happy with here. Most of the chrome on the sanded area, there's still a couple little pieces, has, uh, has been removed. So... Uh, I also did it on the front, okay, where the bolts go in, because remember there's a hub that goes over this, so, uh, and we'll get to that piece here in a second. Um, so I sanded the front of that, that turned out really good and smooth, and then I will also bore sand the inside with a very fine grit as to not ream or oversize the, uh, the part. So here's how I've been sanding this up, guys. Simply got a piece, like I said, of 180 right here, okay, and I've been getting it and pointing to, you know, north and south here, okay, and then I just sand it across like this on a flat surface okay then I rotate it like that sand it across on a flat surface rotate and sand do that for both sides and I'll do that until the last bit of chrome is gone off of those two pieces now as far as the hub okay this has been a pain in the butt um, it's really hard to get a perfect angle on this because it is a rounded hub okay no way to really lock that in but let me hold it here to where hopefully you guys can see I'll try and get it at an angle all right, right there. If you look off to the left a little bit, okay, you'll see that if I hold the hub with the point straight down off to the right and left, you'll see that that thing just is not flush in any way. It always curves up. So, I'm working on that. Also, sanding that down, trying to keep that square so I can get that flush up against the prop. So, um, just from the little bit I've done and the reassembly of it and putting it back together, a huge difference. So if I can get all four of these blades perfectly lined out, um, it'll make a very noticeable difference against the stock setup. Now, I don't know if anyone else is having problems with this, something I noticed with mine. Um, I did check the motor. Um, laser sighted the motor and the motor, uh, or and the prop shaft. Um, and I did even order an extra one of these. I always do with the kits. So I've got an extra prop shaft. So if none of this works and I'm still off balance a little bit, I am going to uh, change the prop shafts out on it, even though Every test I know of that I've done shows that that's a straight prop shaft and a straight uh, a straight can housing um, on the motor. So uh, that's one thing I'm going to be working on. And since I got this prop off, I'll show you guys something I wasn't able to show you in the other video. Okay, um, go ahead and pull this off, guys. And for your maiden flight, I would rec definitely recommend uh, from all the guys helping me out here online and from my, my balancing that I've done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put five grams of lead or five ounces, I'm sorry, ounces, guys, of lead here, here, and here at the bottom. Okay, I'll secure those against the firewall. Um, I'm going to start out with five ounces, so I can remove if I need to, but uh, sounds like five ounces is just right where you want to go, so uh, I'll give that a shot there. Um, but there's the motor. I wasn't able to show you guys this on the first video, I believe. So there's the motor there. It's 4250, 500 kV. It's a monster. Um from my experience just you know it's kind of in between the power e-flight power 25 and power 32 really good motor um lots and lots of power in this thing with the blade set up 
Um, I'm going to do the numbers on it today and see what kind of amps we're drawing. So, uh, see if I need to swap speed controls like usual on these airfields or not. But I will be running, obviously guys, I never run any of these airfields or larger planes without a uh, BEC. Um, I choose to run right now. I've kind of swapped brands a little bit. I am going with the uh, Castle Creations. Uh, this is the 10 amp max. Um, and it's good for 3 to 6S. Uh, 4.8 to 9 volt selectable output. Um, and it only weighs 11 grams compared to my other one. So awesome there. So I'll be throwing that in just in case speed control, motor, something happens. I'll still have complete uh, control surface to work with. But I'm going to get to work on these props, hopefully get them straightened out, and if they work, I'll take them back apart again for you guys and show you exactly everything I did, but it's pretty much what I just mentioned. I'm just trying to get a flat level surface on all parts, so when the props go in, they line up equally. So, stick around, and uh, while I'm covering this, I'm going to go ahead and show you one more little thing here, guys, okay, and that's stuff like this, okay? All these little rough edges here, um, you know, a bunch of different names, you know. Uh, people call it, I basically, you know, when you're taking that off, you're basically deburring the part, um, is what I call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a fine uh, file, um, I call them uh, uh, fudge-up files, in case there's any kids watching here, but you guys can figure out what they're really called. Um, I don't know if I have one with me, I have a close one here, here's one of them, this one's for very, very intricate stuff, let me show you guys here. Excellent to have these in your uh, group, okay. And it's also really good, you can tell that's discolored a little bit, I can get that tip heated red hot and use it for multiple uh, applications that I need to use. So, uh, I'm working on that. So I'll try and get this uh, prop nice and balanced up for you guys and then kind of go over a how-to on how to get it just perfect because it will make a huge difference. So uh, stay tuned. 